Hey, welcome to the very first episode of Tech Wake TV. This is kind of fun for me. I have a fishing channel and I've had some pretty decent success over the last year and a half, two years. I finally popped over a thousand subscribers a few months back, but one thing I run into as a problem with my fishing channel is I always want to introduce new technology, cameras, microphones, gadgets, action cams, anything that might help me make my videos on my channel. And sometimes people give me a little kickback and say, I'm not really into that, so can you just stick to the fishing? So I decided to start a whole new channel, but rather than just do a tech review channel, I thought, what is it people need? Like, what do I need when I go in and I look for things? And I always find myself watching older videos of good equipment, and I say, hey, maybe I can find that on eBay. Maybe I can find that on Craigslist. So I've determined that I'm going to do this channel basically focused on what I would say living in the slipstream of technology. Everything that's kind of washed behind and obsolete, quote unquote, and no longer useful, I want to find use for it and I want to find the best value. So a lot of you are going to be just like me. You might be looking for a computer or a laptop or a camera, but if you're starting a YouTube channel like I'm starting, this one's brand new, um, you're going to need a camera. Don't forget about the iPhone, of course. The phones are going to be your best start. But as your game gets a little bit better and more advanced, you're going to want something that's a little more professional. And you're going to be stuck with decisions like 1080p, 4K resolution, uh, high frame rates so you can do slow motion. And I'll do videos on all this kind of stuff later. But today I wanted to talk about a camera that I still think is superb for making videos on YouTube. And it's probably the best deal going. It's a 4K resolution camera. It can shoot time lapses. It can shoot uh, stop motion. It can do so many things in the body of the camera that it's, it's really hard to even go through and list it all out. So I want to keep it brief and keep your attention and keep it simple. It's the Lumix G7. You might say, hey, Joe, that's kind of an old camera. That's four or five years now. Um, and it's true. It's a little bit older. But it is still one of the most versatile cameras on the market today, especially for doing this type of thing. So you're watching it right now. I'm actually filming this whole thing, this whole introduction on the Lumix G7. So now I'm going to take my other camera, put it back on the tripod, pull the G7 off and give you a closer look at this camera. So now I have the other camera on the tripod. You probably can't tell much of a difference from one camera to the next because both of these cameras that I'm using are 4K cameras. I actually have the Lumix G9 mounted on the tripod. I know I'm breaking one of my own rules with the G9 camera, but it's the least expensive of the best cameras of Lumix line. So I did try to save a little bit of money there. I wanted to walk through the physical attributes of the G7 and talk a little bit more about this camera. This camera right here is very small and compact. I have the Olympus 30 millimeter lens on the front of this. It's my favorite street walk around photography camera set up right here. I like just walking around with this. It doesn't have a zoom, anything special. It can do some manual focusing if I want to. Um, and the thing I love about the G7 is it has a flip out screen. So if you're into vlogging or doing any type of YouTubing, you can use this camera for that. And this camera is a touch screen. So when you're navigating the menu, it's very easy to touch the different features and navigate through very quickly. You can also reprogram the buttons on this camera to do different functionality. So if you want to really make this camera personalized to your style, you can do that. The other thing I love about this camera, it's interchangeable lenses. So there's a long line of Panasonic and Lumix lenses that fit on these cameras so you can find plenty of backup and support. There's even um, some adapters where you can use Canon lenses and things like that. And we can get more into that later. But I wanted to stay more focused on the budget aspects of the G7 and why I think this is a great camera. This camera can be bought for somewhere between 450 and 550 be it used, eBay, or even new on sale. This is a 4K camera, shoots 30 frames a second. It can shoot all different variations below that. It can do time-lapse photography. It can do stop motion. You could do all sorts of things just inside this camera. So it's a very versatile tool. And the only reason I upgraded this camera was a few features that I wanted for my channel as it was growing. And I've been using this camera for so long, I thought it was time for an upgrade. Um, but if you're looking for a great camera to start a YouTube channel or to do some really good photography and videography, I highly recommend the G7. The price is right. The, the package you get and the attributes that it has are equal to better than most of the cameras in the same price range and higher. Um, this is definitely a camera that lives in the slipstream. It benefits from all the modern technologies, but it's just a little older, a little longer in the tooth, and it's still a good camera, still valid, still perfectly good to use. Some of the features that you might want that aren't in this camera would be um, image stabilization and a really good autofocus. It doesn't have the greatest autofocus system, but believe me, it's adequate. You can use manual focusing very easily with this camera too and get great results. The in-body stabilization I think is a little overhyped on most cameras, 
people think that if it has in-body stabilization, you can just run around and walk and it'll be all like fluid and still. That's not the case. In-body stabilization usually is used on cameras to help you hold the camera still for longer exposure photographs or hard to film situations. Anyway, take a look at the G7. Check it out for yourself. Please, I know I haven't covered nearly everything this camera can do below. Hit me with as many questions or opinions or recommendations down below that you want. I love the dialogue, I love the exchange. I'll try to answer everything that anybody says to me. So I look forward to engaging. Stay cool, come back to Tech Wake, hit the bell, subscribe, Thank you so much for watching today. I'll talk to you guys soon.